Welcome to Mr. E-Science Theater Presents Multi-Object Systems Involving Friction. In our last video, we learned about multi-object systems where there was no friction involved. In this video, we're going to look at a situation where there is a multi-object system that does involve friction. We can see here on the table is block A, mass of 15 kilograms. There's a coefficient of friction of 0.2 between the block and the table. String attached to a pulley hanging off the edge is block B with a mass of 7 kilograms. If we do this, the split system approach. We're going to look at block A and B separately. So for block A, we've got force of gravity, normal force, tension to the right, and friction to the left. And block A accelerates to the right. Block B is going to accelerate downward. So for block B, force of gravity, force of tension, and it's accelerating downward. So for block A, we would do our net force equals mass times acceleration. Our net force here, go minus stop, we've got FT minus FF. The tension force minus the friction force, that's right minus left, equals MA. So now we plug in our numbers that we know, don't know the tension, friction. I don't know the friction, but I can find the friction. So I'm going to come up here and let's find the friction. I know the force of friction, is equal to the coefficient of friction times the normal force. In this particular instance, I can see that the normal force for block A is going to equal the force of gravity for block A because there's, no, there's only one up and there's only one down. The acceleration is horizontal, and so there's the vertical forces are going to be balanced. So the normal force will equal the force of gravity, which is just mg. Uh, the mass is 15 kilograms, g is 10, so the normal force will be 150. So my friction force will be 0.2 times 150, and that is 30 newtons. So I can come back down here now, I know the friction force is 30 newtons. Force tension minus 30 equals the mass, 15, times the acceleration. I get to that point, and I can see I don't know the tension, don't know the acceleration, so I'm kind of stuck. So where I go from here is to block B. That force equals mass times acceleration. It's accelerating down, so my net force is going to be down minus up, that's Fg minus Ft equals Ma. Fg for this block, 7 kilograms, is 70 newtons, minus the tension equals the mass of this block, which is 7, times the acceleration. Again, I get stuck, I've got tension and acceleration, two unknowns. So what I need to do at this point is to solve one of these equations for the tension, plug it into the other one. I'm going to go ahead and solve the left equation here. I can see the tension by just adding 30 to both sides is equal to 30 plus 15A. So I'm going to take that and I'll plug it in here for the tension up here. So it's 70 minus the quantity, 30 plus 15A equals 7A. Let's go ahead and distribute that negative. 70 minus 30 minus 15A equals 7A. Now I can combine my like terms, 70 minus 30 is 40. Let's add the 15a to both sides. So 40 equals 22 times a. So 40 divided by 22 is my acceleration. So I'll push a few buttons on my calculator. 40 divided by 22, get 1.82 meters per second squared. That is the acceleration. Okay. To find the tension then, I just plug that back in up here. I know the tension is equal to 30 plus 15 times 1.82. So 30 plus 15 times 1.82, and I get for the tension 57.3 newtons. That is how we deal with friction when we're dealing with a multi-object system. Now, we could take the other approach, which is the single system approach. In the single system approach, we're going to treat our system as a single system. So I do my little dotted line around my system, and I can then I draw outside forces acting on my system. So I've got here, I've got the force of gravity of B, I've got force of gravity of A, I've got a normal force on A, and there is a friction force on A as well. And then I do 
Net force equals mass times acceleration. Net force here, I have to remember my directions. Go minus stop. So the go direction, I've got the Fg of B. Notice Fg of A and the normal force are going to cancel each other out. They don't affect the acceleration at all. But the friction is opposing. So Fg of B is pulling on the system in the go direction. Friction is pulling on the system in the stop direction. So go minus stop, Fgb minus friction equals, now because this is a single system, m is the combined mass of A and B. Like so. Now I can figure out Fgb, that is 70. The friction, I would do the same thing as I did before. Friction is mu times the normal on A. 0.2 times 150, I get 30 newtons for the friction. Notice that didn't change. Equals my combined mass, which is 15 plus 7, 22 times A. So 40 equals 22 times A. And again, same thing, 1.82 meters per second squared equals A. Find the acceleration using the single system. Again, to find the tension, you would need to take this acceleration and then split off either A or B and plug this acceleration value in to the formula there and solve for the tension. And that is how you deal with a multi-object system that does involve friction.